Hello and welcome back to another episode of Warhammer Rogue Trader. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our blind playthrough on the unfair difficulty. We moved our way all the way up to here. And today we're going to have the Silence of the Mare Sen Green sector that we're going to take a closer look at, which is going to be fun. Look at that. Four stars and uh, no one who's interrupting us let's go boys beginning to scan with the first one. Oh, nice we got a uh, flowy stone sure let's start the production there and we got ourselves an archaeotech mechanism fragment a surviving piece of the archaeotech mechanism of unknown purpose discovered amongst the wreckage of an imperial vessel. Okay. So clearly there must be a, a reason of why and how to use that. I like planets uh, that we can scan from because more resources means more income um, what did we get plus five from somewhere which I don't even know hmm okay okay it doesn't show all of uh, the influences but we're at 35 uh, profit factor which is great Oil. Uh, we don't have that yet. Promethium, to be precise. And if my memory serves me well, we had a contact for Promethium. There you go, more profit factor. Do we have more orders? Yes, well, people. Oh, we don't have people. Unquenchable greed. People for provisions. Okay, now they are not even giving us profit factor. They are just shifting around. They are just shifting around the um, the material. But it seems that uh, for getting Promethium in itself. Ah, okay, we're getting. We're getting five from Promethium itself and then three for uh, fulfilling the quest. Okay, cool. That's not bad. Since we are already um, at that, might as well do our colonies. So we got a couple further options here. Uh, we got good uh, tiding. Player character gains critical hit chance. And nice little complacency for everyone. We got indulgences for sale, which increases our profit factor. And uh, Fellowship of the Void will like us more. And Touched by Holiness, which just increases complacency. Uh, projects will reduce in speed for complacency, which I don't like. Um, this is a nice. Uh, um, all allies gain three times the dogmatics ranks crit uh, critical hit chance. That's really good, um, but it also means that all of the projects going forward will be reduced by twenty percent. I don't like that, so we're going for more profit factor. Your Lordship, there is an alarming report coming from Janus. A number of strange mutations have been spotted amongst the population. Aside from the obvious disfigurement uh, and the subsequent uh, estrangement, these mutants, called wretches, are coming together practicing primitive forms of religion involving ritual worship of the land. While they display no disobedience or hostility, their very existence is concerning. The uh, Janus nobility humbly um, awaits your decision. Hmm. 
Hmm. The problem with mutation is, in the Warhammer universe, you're actually getting pretty much uh, shanted uh, for always being the nice guy. Uh, Chaos uh, comes in easy, uh, so this year might as well mean that everybody is less happy. But since we play a dogmatic uh, character... Uh, well, this is more heresy, to be fair. Mm. Uh, what do my advisors have to say? Um, I cannot deny a pathetic through extremely absent connection to the symbols of my people. Probability of them having come to such close contact with our civilization's non-existent protect these um, people, resettle them uh, where they will not be harmed, and keep watch. This mutation has not been properly studied and missing from the catalog. I'm not r registered. I recommend launching a thorough investigation. Um, all right, resettle them and we will study them. The mutants were resettled to a distant agri complexes where their unorthodox appearance will not put them in danger of being massacred. The mutants were part, put under surveillance. One of the watchmen uh, spotted a mysterious relic in the hands of the group. Uh, that turned out to be of Xeno origin. It is unlikely the mutants understand the, uh, mm, uh, the thing that they worship. Um, and we got a big fat uh, Drukhari power weapon. Also, we got complacency, which is not great. Profit factor, Xenotech, provisions. Okay, what else can we do? We could... Uh, get chemicals and promethium. That's good. Uh, that's actually pretty damn good. Ramping up our production a little bit. We are at 38 profit factor. We'll, we'll do any sort of purchases uh, towards the end of the episode as always. Good, we got more uh, plasteel, but it's only two plasteel, and we're just having three extractums, and we already have 16 plasteel, so I don't know if we should uh, go deeper into that. I, I say we're not doing it for once. This here is a complete resource world. Interesting. Good, but now we do have a problem. We do have a problem because there is no more, no more easy moving from A to B. We've been exploring everything. So making this year a little bit less hostile is good. Focus camera on the unforgiven flag. Okay. Uh, hmm. Hmm. The route is unsafe, which tells me something is going to happen. I don't like unsafe routes, but I don't see an option for gaining any more non-combat space events because we've explored all of the systems, right? Uh, so that's that's an issue by itself. Let's try the warp travel and see what happens. Hmm. Well, trying to minimize our. I'm trying to minimize our um, our unsafe routes. There are a couple of pirates here, and this is an interesting system. 
So let's start with exploring it. We're beginning the scan. Nothing. Not a single resource. Continue our scan. The bowels of Riven Worlds contain extremely rare materials and minerals, but appears some uh, someone has beaten us to the case. Uh, this here is plat steel times six, so we're going to take that. Yeah, we need to see if we can get rid of some of the plat steel. This cold, windy planet is covered by a raging sea of mustard gray grass, so tall that it reaches the average human's waist. The monotony of the endless steppe is occasionally broken by chains of murky green lakes, but the auger crew spots a f uh, far more interesting anomaly, a scar running uh, several dozen kilometers deep, splitting the world uh, mm, equator in two. After two explorations uh, watches, the crew intercepts a faint signal coming from one of the labor settlements uh, in the deep chasm. Due to unstable connection, uh, the foreman mistake, uh, mistakes your vessel for the winter scale ship. Uh, one uh, was due to arrive nine cycles ago. The foreman uh, Gimli reports over the weak channel that the adamantine ore deposits in the world are nearly depleted and that the planet will be fully mined in less than a decade. With some difficulty, he picks up enough words to understand that the ship in the orbit belongs to another rogue trader house, then awkwardly ap apologizes and falls si uh, silent. At some point, the connection cuts off completely and you leave the foreman. Good, five provisions, good for me, or good enough for me. So we could get even more provisions, but yeah, unfortunately, can we dismiss uh, these contracts and then instead get other contracts? Because why would we need way more pro, uh, provisions? Are we sure that nothing has been on that snow world? Hmm, okay. Good, one of the problems that we're having with any star battle is we don't really know what we're up against. Beside a ship, I'll bring a void station. Uh, it's preparing for battle. Uh, let's attack first. Let's hope we're not fighting against the Space Hulk. I I really don't know. Our ship, uh, we're, we're oftentimes having the problem that we have a great ship but we're fighting against like two ships at the Let same time. Let us purge your enemies, rogue trader. Oh come on, F four enemies! Wonderful. Viper, Cobra, Viper, Viper. What do these guys have? They do have Thunderstrike macro cannons. So if we're going for here... Okay, that should be a good first strike. Hit this guy and hit him very, very hard. Shields are gone. Unleash Follow up. Storm of macro We're torpedoes. copying a couple of torpedoes. Now. 
Let the Empyrean guide us. Not sure why we did not turn around. Uh, the game was imprecise there. It promised me that we could turn around. Well, I should uh, prevent him from shooting at us. Oh no, torpedoes? That many? Not great. <laughs> Our torpedoes, on the other hand, are pretty damn good. best to force this one in a different direction and isolate the last uh, one of them. Unfortunately nothing is in our uh, field of vision. Reinforcing the back uh, shields. Yeah, that was not too bad. Uh, time uh, for very much a turn around. Yes, we are turning around. Send their souls to the void. We're sending them a couple Send of torpedoes. Cold void. Front shields and. Okay, our shields are strong. I like it. Torpedoes. Ooh, nice hit. Lovely hit. Unleash our wrath upon my enemies. Let's go. Can we ram them? And we can only ram the torpedoes. Good, that will immunize ourselves against torpedoes. Macro cannons, annihilate them. And one more of them is down. Uh, that's not a bad uh, thing for us. All of their uh, flight is actually quite beneficial for us. Okay, reinforce shields to the back. Forcing them to turn around. We're turning. Yeah, we're almost turning around. <laughs> torpedoes. More torpedoes. Now. Emblazon our path. And. Side shields are up. Oh, that's a huge, a grave mistake to get there. Ah, oh, but they got us. Oh, wow, they hit hard. Unleash the storm of micro cannons. Restarting shields for us. And we 
we're positioning ourselves and right here so that the torpedoes have a hard time uh, catching up. No one can outmaneuver House or Celio. Nice, nice. That was good. So we got ourselves a ancient machinery, and a couple of better. What's that? Three shots, twenty-one. Four shots, Stygius pattern. That's that's what we're looking for. Stygius pattern. Okay, for starters, I think we want to repair. So, currently 3 shots 21, and this here is 4 shots 14, and this here is 4 shots 14 as well. Question is, are we better off with 3 shots for 21? It's essentially the same damage, but it's heavier impact, and I like that idea. Repairing the hull, and... Uh, we are doing well. And I think I need to attend to a different matter. Be right back. Okay, we're back. Let's get it going. We have a landing to do, a boarding. And we're going to use our standard team here. I'm still acquiring more uh, companions uh, to get a second team going. But for now... I am enjoying myself very much with the first team. It's an excellent team and I like every single one of them. Cool. So I wonder what the problem in this particular uh, piece of uh, star junk is. Let's seize the opportunity. Lots of prisoners and thugs. Time to leave my mark upon the galaxy. Embrace true power. Okay, we could hit three over here. I think that's a good enough start. Let's I go, baby. Need no guidance. Oh, we got more thugs. Fantastic. Good. Let's position ourselves. Abelard keeps that side safe and secure. We got Heinrichs over here. Our back line. Where do we put where do we put our backline? This here is annoying. Should have destroyed that beforehand. But we could theoretically go over there. Argenta moves here. Saiken moves here. Cassia moves here. And Pascal can put kind of a zone down here, and then we're good. Let's go. Alright, we could buff someone, but I much rather use this here. Hmm... Let's take Saiken. Ah, uh, not good. Saiken already had an extra turn. Should have used Argenta. My bad. Ruin beckons. One step closer. As the Emperor commands, I act. Good. First shot. The he gets a kill. Act. 
Second shot. Deals decent damage. And I think we're Gucci. Good, we got a new random stratagem. Uh, trench line. The grand strategist chooses one of the combat tactic areas for one round. All allies gain 15% cover efficiency and rerolled failed uh, saves. That's a fantastic. That's a fantastic zone. Put the bike line here. Put the front line here. Good, we're getting lots and lots of cover here. We can position ourselves theoretically here. But, uh, hmm, I I misclick. Uh, space was execute in many of the games. Unfortunately, it is not here. Battlefields are always Chessia moves up. I uh, position her all the way over here. Fantastic. Force movement of all of them. Little stair into cover removal, perfect. That would be awesome. Um, that would not be bad. I'm thinking that's one option. The other option is to simply kill two of them. And shift an action over. I think we're just going to kill uh, two of them because Me. this is too good to not uh, take the opportunity. And also, let's reposition that po uh, that to there. Heinrichs. Let's see to it. Buffs everyone. But of course, Lord Defensive Captain. approach. Let's see to it. Buffs himself. Naturally. Buffs Abelard, and we're good. <laughs> nice. We got a lot of reinforcements. Abelard takes a bit too much damage for my liking. Good, we're reshifting. This is our new backline. Faith without deeds is worthless. Good, let's go, baby. Fantastic. Uh, we are. Continuing to uh, fire again, and I think we're literally just continuing to bolter our way through this. Hmm. Can't throw another grenade. We can reload. But we have used run and gun. Oh, we're just mi missing the kills. Pirate captain. Fantastic. 
Lots and lots and lots of enemies. Abelard heals himself. The healing is much appreciated. At your back and call. Uh, we're moving up here. I think this is important. Uh, mm, I believe done. this is very important. We're just going to uh, give ourselves temporary hit points. And Double Art uh, is staying in the front line. Heinrichs. Um, Abel Art gets another buff. We're buffing ourselves. Barely not in range. That's unfortunate. But I think we still can shout and try to get this guy uh, I think he resisted everybody gets the word of the Emperor and we're hitting and we're hitting very well. Fantastic, Heinrichs is uh, mm, defending that side. I am wondering... So let's move to here. This can be our zone. Uh, you do this and this and this, which then brings us to Backline being shifted to mm, over here. Fortunately, we somehow can't. Yeah, we can't hit that, but we cannot legitimately. Um, like position it pro uh, prolonged so that it just takes these fields. These zones are a bit finicky, unfortunately. Okay, th yeah, that's better than nothing. Free stratagem. Uh, let's scout this guy for shooting. Unfortunately missing. Good, moving into that zone. And we still can hit all of these... Guys, should have potentially used press the attack. Good, now is Pascal's normal turn, where we are moving to here.
We could also move to here. Nah. Good. He'll, we'll do that. And that for free. This here is a hit. Um, let's hit all of you over here. I think we're just going to put the defensive zone up yet again and buff everybody with joint analysis because we have already a lot of uh, uh, stacks of of exposure Good, there is only Eulas the Slasher, and we should be okay with him. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, Argenta. Go ahead and do your worst. One Faith without that is worth plus that plus that. As the Emperor commands, I act. Plus that, everybody uh, just dies. Doubt is for the weak. I'll do it. This is why I Another shot. It. Without deeds is worthless. As the Emperor commands, I act. <laughs> oh, she just deals so much damage. The finest hour with her I'll do it. is an absolute pleasure. Judgment. So we're at 10 stakes of versatility, and she just killed the whole left side of the room. We got Eulus the Slasher here and these guys, of course, but that was a really, really good turn. Me? If you insist, Lord Captain. Pascal could take another turn, theoretically. Or we're just hitting these guys again. Uh, that would an uh, be another great option. Do they have a lot of uh, hit points? Yeah, Jill the Psycho definitely has a lot of hit points. Something along those lines here wouldn't be bad. So I can get the buff. And we're just continuing to kill, to be fair almost at another break point another honorable deed okay well it's 
Someone needs to deal with Eulers. Not cool. As the Emperor commands, I act. I'll do it. Eradicate it. Let's do this. Ah, I took the wrong skill. Well, we could still shoot in this direction, I guess. Who's next? A lot of goons. I don't like that, so... I am his will made Let's continue here. <laughs> Slasher. Faith we'll take a lot of single hit shots. I'll do it. As the Emperor commands, I act. For the Just look at that. He already got wounds, and every single one is a hit thanks to our uh, um, equipment that allows us to hit with uh, single single bolter shots. All right, Eulus is down to 23 hit points. That is very good. Argenta had another monster turn here. Let's make it quick. Let's no more get to it. Okay, Abelard. Look, this cutter here, I don't know, maybe Abelard could just move over here and kill Eulus, the slasher. Uh, potentially better over here with the cutter. My place is at the fall. I will do my An exemplary strike. Fantastic hit. It will be done. A little bit of that. He uh, protects himself, and we're hitting for over 50 points of damage. That's good. Awesome damage. The Emperor is on our side. Stand still. House Orcelio thanks you. Uh, give her a little bit more dodge, I think, wouldn't be the worst idea. Let's see to it. I would like to upgrade our stacks. Let's just do this. Even if it doesn't uh, deal a lot of damage, uh, this still gives us versatility, and versatility means uh, we're going to get um, a lot more defense. And if we're currently looking, our dodge rating, uh, we are... Very good when it comes to dodge. Very, very good. Saiken so moves up to here.
I will Let's kill. Oh, come on, really? Should have used uh, press the advantage. That's what it's for. Everybody gets uh, some defense and Cassia gets a buff. Argenta gets another turn. Fantastic. Look at just how much momentum that has given us. I reject the very idea. Scout opening him. Shoot into kill. Nope. Defense. More defense. Request approved. And I think we're good. Cassia will heal automatically, so we just need to find the right position for her. go uh, that was a solid kill Isn't this, a job for the serfs? this dealt a lot of damage me if you insist Lord captain You know what, Argenta could uh, take a couple more shots. I think that wouldn't be the worst idea. As the Emperor commands, I act. I'll do it. None can escape the Emperor's judgment. Fantastic. We're again at a heroic As the action. Commands, I act. And we're at 16 stacks versatility. It's starting to hurt really, really bad now. Whoever is going to move there. No? Alright. Well, in that case, we're done. Faith without deeds is worth it. I'll do it. <laughs> this is unacceptable. We're up to five uh, time units again. Well, reload. As the Emperor commands, I act. Reload. We could heal, but there is nothing to heal. Let's make it quick. Once someone is as buffed as her, there isn't really much uh, the enemy can do. Uh, 
I've seen worse battles than this in my time. Reduced to dust. Fantastic. We're doing that. We're charging. A little bit of uh, self-help. And... No one is left standing. Well, the remaining space pirates will not have a good day. I can already tell you that. Eat a hot lightning. Fantastic. Great uh, to have Let's see a tank it. that can also attack from afar. Already buffed that. Um, yeah, let's not let's not artificially increase the weave here. Yeah, without stakes and versatility. Oh, he's not even getting versatility. I respect him. I'm such an idiot. Through chaos, I stride. We can use finest uh, hour on Argenta. I need no guidance. Purpose guides me. Let's start with Argenta. Reshaped. I'll do it. One down. Faith without deeds is worthless. As the Emperor commands, I none escape the Emperor's judgment. Two down. Doubt is for the weak. That's just so many uh, hits. I'll do it. As the Emperor commands. <laughs> I'll do it. It's like seven shots and all of them hurt really, really bad. It's why I was chosen. As the Emperor commands. And she easily reloads and... Wow, I could even hand over more. Crazy. Good. Look, everybody just gets Shield of the Emperor because it's uh, such a good ability. And Heinrich uh, gets an extra turn. Can't hit anything from here. That's majorly disappointing. Never mind for Heinrich's turn, but it's okay. Could have taken another shot, I suppose. Barely out of range. Can we re can we scout him? Yes. We can do that. And we can do that. Cool. Lots of buffing. I have read 
tomes of military tactics. I'm not accustomed to being ordered around. That is foolishness. If I may... Much better, okay, so... Beckons. Let's go. Give it a good hit. 80% no misses. That's unfortunate. Isn't this a job for the serfs? I am a man, not a servitor. I almost killed the guy. Funny. I'll do it. Can't hit anyone here. Should have moved beforehand. That is for the weak. A tactically sound approach. Good. All of you are taunted. Naturally. Couple of hits. More trouble than it's worth. I won't object to it. All right, bring on your best shot. Saiken so moves up. Uh, we're going to have a little bit of Pascal into this. A little bit more of this. Cool, I would love to hit someone with AoE, but it unfortunately it's just not working out. That's not bad. That was a hundred uh, points of damage right there. I will triumph. I'm a member. Moves to here. Um. That is being shifted around. Chooses one combat area, every ally gains... Nah, we only have two allies in here. Be careful not to cross my gaze. Now we do have three allies, so it could be even a bit better. I'm not accustomed to being ordered around. Good. Finally, Saiken can get his major hit in. I need no gun. Oh, Make it. 
Wow. A bit too much damage for good old Heinrichs. What a good fight. What a good fight. Got a level up and we killed dozens of them. Splinter pistol. As Drukhari weapons and a powerful maul, none of which we need. Clave might be interesting. I'll keep one of the splinter pistols. They do have toxic needles. Yeah, they're not too bad. Radiant chest plate. Uh, that's a good one. Heavy armor. That's a very good one. This could be an excellent one. 55. Lots of fantastic one. Got fellowship, got massive armor bonus. And I mean, we got another heavy armor, right? So th this one here is good, but currently we're not having anyone who is wearing heavy armor. The world will bow. Unstable flamer. Medium armor, that's nice, but not needed. Grants the wearer's ranged attacks two times rate of 5% damage. Hmm. Let's see what you are wearing. I think that's better because for your automatic salvos, this here would mean rate of fire is doubled on this thing and that's 16% extra damage for bursts. Massive. I tread a path unexplored. On the other hand, uh, that extra damage, 15% crit chance for lower hit point enemies. That might not be too bad. And that might not be too bad. Yeah, it's a good item, but we do have better items for all of the characters. Cool. Nullifying shotgun. We're missing a really good uh, shotgun based Let's character. Seize the opportunity. Okay, cool. We got ballistic skill, Alderi equipment. Uh, that is definitely something for our. J, uh, as she can use Aldiri equipment. Power. What a nice co uh, fight! It was one of the best ones that we had so far. The world will bow. We get yet another level? No. No. I only get one uh, got one level. Intriguing. The world trembles beneath my feet. Alright, with athletics, uh, we could just jump down there, easy peasy, but I'm wondering if the we are missing some super good cargo here. Mm, 
No, I don't think so. Compared to naval service, that was barely a challenge. Well, I think uh, we true, uh, truly earned uh, the end of uh, this episode. I will level up the characters and we're going to see each other in the next episode when we're continuing to uh, explore the rest of this uh, star system. I think we're almost done with the star system to be fair. The Ravage Station uh, was the last thing that uh, uh, we needed to do. Ravage Void Station has nothing else going for it and we now plundered it. So in our next epi uh, episode we uh, will continue to explore the easy to, uh, to reach other systems. Nameless Star is going to be one and I hope that uh, we will get a bit more navigator insights because we have already traversed one um, unsafe route and these things here begin to start orange so unless there is a great easy route from the nameless star we're now stuck with uh, unsafe routes which i really really don't like Anyways, that's all I got for today. Thanks a lot, Hail the Emperor. And uh, if uh, you like Rogue Trader, then leave a comment and a like down below. See you in the next episode, guys. Bye-bye.